through how much contact you had with Denver through the, the pre-draft process, and then what was it like to, you know, hear your name called? You know, I had a good uh, meeting with them. I had a Zoom with them, but that was uh, really the main things I had, you know, some contact with the Combine, et cetera. But, you know, now I'm excited to be with this uh, team, be with this organization. I'm very excited to get up there to Denver. Uh, you know, I'm just really blessed to be in this position. We saw some projections as maybe third, fourth round, but the, were you dealing with some injuries that prevented testing that think that might have had you yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, I tore my peg before the combine, about two days before the combine, so that's the reason why uh, my drop may have happened. But, you know, I don't really consider it a drop. I consider it me getting placed in the correct hands. You know, the Denver Broncos is obviously the correct hands for me, and I'm excited to be up there. Hey, JL, uh, what do you think your strengths are as you come to the NFL, and what are the areas you want to work on your game to improve once you get to Denver? I want to be able to, you know, consistently cover those little smaller slot guys. And, uh, my strengths, I say, is being very versatile, very physical. You know, I'm somebody that knows the game very well, and I use that to my, uh, you know, my advantage. So I say I'm just a very smart player, very physical. And, uh, I say the main thing I need to work on is covering those smaller slots, especially getting into the NFL world. JL, congratulations. What, where are you in the recovery process of that packet, and when do you think you'll be? Ready? I'm actually ahead. I'm actually ahead. So uh, I'm running and doing everything right now, lifting and doing all that stuff. So. <clears throat> not too far out. I'm about a month out from my full expected recovery to be fully clear. But, yeah, I'm back doing all my normal activities, my normal things every day. And, yes, sir, it's been good. Jay, how much do you keep an eye on the Broncos secondary, specifically guys like Pat Sertan and, of course, Justin Simmons, the fellow safety? Oh, oh, yes, sir. For sure, I, I know those guys. I uh, looked at them. You know, Pat Sertan was one of my favorite corners when he came out at that moment. So, looking at that guy, being able to, you know, just pick his brain and learn from all those guys inside the room right now. You know, I'm excited to really get up there and pick those guys, those better guys' brain for sure. JL, I understand that those aren't initials for anything. Those are your, that's your given name. What's the story behind that? I'm the third, so I'm named after my dad, who was named after his dad. So I don't know the original, I say, reason for my name being JL, but yes, sir, it's that. Yeah, that's just it. So it's not, it is said for anything. No Aquarius links or any of that. It's just JL. <laughs> How did you uh, tear your pack? Say it again? How did you uh, suffer your injury? Uh, just a, just a, I say a fluke incident. Uh, I had was warming up on bench press, and, you know, just one of those freaky, unlucky things that happened. But, you know, I'm back all back from it and really uh, recovers where it's going pretty well for me. From the positional standpoint of safety, do you see yourself as a guy who excels in the box against the run, or can you play a little bit of hybrid in terms of being on the back end as well? Uh, I say at my school we did a lot of both. Uh, I, I got very experienced doing both. So I say I'm just – I say I do a lot of work down by the box. My school will have me rotating down in the box a lot. So just depending on those situations, what the Denver Broncos want me to do, you know, I'm able to do both. I feel very experienced deep in the post and uh, down by the field. Awesome. Thanks, Dale. Thanks, Thanks Dale. Congratulations. Congratulations.